If you wanted to find out how to add a Facebook feed carousel onto your WordPress website, then you've clicked on the right video. I will show you the easiest way to add a Facebook feed carousel like this onto your WordPress website without using any coding. If you're ready, let's get started. The easiest way to create a Facebook feed carousel for a website is by using the Smash Balloon Facebook Feed Pro plugin. Head over to smashballoon.com to purchase the plugin. And to get the Facebook feed carousel feature, you'll need to purchase the Smash or All Access bundle. And once purchased, you can find your download link and license key inside your Smash Balloon account. Go ahead and download the Facebook Feed Pro plugin and the Facebook extensions as well. Once downloaded, head over to your WordPress dashboard. To install Facebook Feed Pro, it's the same steps as installing any other plugin. On the left hand side, hover over plugins and click on Add New. Then click on Upload plugin at the top and browse for the zip file that we just downloaded for Facebook Feed Pro. Upload it like this and click on Install Now. Once it's installed, we can go and activate the plugin. And there we go, Facebook Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. Next, we have to go and install the extension zip file. Click on Add New once again, Upload Plugin, and we can choose a zip file for the Facebook Feed Pro extensions, like this, and click on Install Now. Once again, let's go and activate the plugin as well. Awesome, so now we have Facebook Feed Pro and the extensions both installed and activated. Next, let's go and activate the license key for Facebook Feed Pro. On the left-hand side, you'll now notice Facebook Feed. Hover over it and click on Settings. Here we can enter the license key for the plugin. Head back into your Smash Balloon account, copy your license key and paste it into this box here, like this, and click Activate. We can do the same thing for the extensions as well. Simply paste the license key and click Activate. And there we go, our license key is now active. But before we go and create our first Facebook carousel feed, we have to go and activate the carousel extension. On the left-hand side under Facebook feed, click on Extensions. And here it will show you all the extensions that we've installed along with the plugin. The first one we can see here is the ability to add a Facebook feed carousel, along with many other options as well. To activate this one, just click on the Activate button down here. And if you want to activate any of the other extensions, you can click on them like this as well. But for this video, the only one we'll need is the carousel one right here. Since we've activated it, we can now go and create our first Facebook feed carousel. On the left-hand side under Facebook feed, click on All Feeds. Next, go and click on Add New. And here you can see that Facebook Feed Pro allows us to create several different types of feeds. For example, you can create a feed of posts from your Facebook timeline, a feed of photos from your Facebook page, a feed of videos from any Facebook page, and more. For this video, let's go with the feed of posts from our Facebook timeline. That's already selected, so we can go and click on Next at the top here. Now we'll have to add a source for our Facebook feed. Click on Add New. And then we have to select our source type. And since we're going to be using a Facebook page that's already selected for us, so we can go and click on Connect to Facebook. This will bring you into Facebook and it will show you all the Facebook pages associated with your account. Select the page you want to display in your Facebook feed like this and click on Next. Now it's asking us for permission to connect our Facebook account with Smash Balloon. Don't worry, all it's going to do is view the information it needs to display our feed, but it won't be allowed to make any changes or post on our behalf, so it's completely safe. So you can go and click Done. And there we go, we've now successfully linked Smash Balloon to our Facebook account. Click on OK. And back inside the plugin, we can select the page that we just connected like this and click on Add. Then you can select the page as a source and click on Next. Facebook Feed Pro gives us several different options for the appearance of our Facebook feed. You have options like the default, simple masonry, widget, and more. But in this video, since we're creating a Facebook Feed carousel, we can select either the showcase carousel or the simple carousel. Let's go with the simple carousel for now, and we can go and click on Next. And instantly, Facebook Feed Pro has created a live preview of our brand new Facebook Feed carousel. You can see all the latest posts from our Facebook page displayed beautifully in this carousel view, which you can slide through like this. And since we now have a beautiful Facebook post carousel, we can actually go and embed this. But before we do, I want to show you how we can customize it to really make it your own. On the left hand side, under Customize, click on Feed Layout. Inside, you'll find several different options to modify the layout of your feed. You can see currently we have the carousel layout, which lets you swipe through your posts like this. Alternatively, you can go with the list layout, which shows all your posts in a single column list like this. And lastly, we also have the masonry layout, which shows all your posts in the original sizes in rows and columns like this. Since we're creating a Facebook feed carousel, let's go with carousel. And if you look down below, you can also specify the number of posts you want to display on both desktop and mobile. To change this, you can specify the number of posts you want to display in this box here. And if I scroll further below, you can also specify the number of columns you want to display on desktop and mobile as well. All you have to do is specify the number of columns you want to display. And straight away, Facebook feed pro shows you a live preview of how that will look. And remember, if you make any changes, go and click on Save on the top right corner. If you wanted to modify the color palette for your Facebook feed, you can do that as well. Under the Customize tab, go and click on Color Scheme. As you can see at the top, it's currently inheriting all the colors from our WordPress theme. Alternatively, you can go with a light theme, a dark theme, 
or a custom theme where you can specify the exact colors you want for your Facebook feed, like this. Select the one you like the most, and don't forget to hit save on the top right corner if you make any changes. And with our plugin, you can also modify the header area of your feed as well. If you go into header on the left hand side, you can see that we have two different header options. Currently, we have the simple and minimal text header, which you can customize down below. Or you can go with the visual header, which shows our Facebook page profile picture, Facebook page name, and the cover photo as well. And if you'd like to disable the header entirely, you can go and toggle that off right here. And once again, if you make any changes, click save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to customize your Facebook feed carousel, let's go and embed it onto our website. On the top right corner, click on embed. Now you'll see a dedicated short code for this Facebook feed. Copy it and go and click on add to a page. Then select the page you want to add your Facebook feed to and click on add. And on your page, you have two different options to embed your Facebook feed. You can either use a shortcode block along with the shortcode that we just copied earlier, like this. Or if you're using block editor, you can use our dedicated Facebook feed pro block like this. And just like that, you can see our brand new Facebook feed right inside your web page. We can now publish this and check out what it looks like on the front end. And now on our live web page, right in the middle, you can see our new Facebook feed carousel. You can see all the latest posts from your Facebook page. And you can swipe through them by clicking on the buttons like this. And if you want to open up a photo, if you click on it, it will open it up inside this lightbox view. Alternatively, if you want to add your Facebook feed carousel onto the sidebar or footer of your website, you can do that as well. Let me show you. Back inside the plugin, go and click on embed on the top right corner, copy the short code, and instead of clicking on add to a page, click on add to a widget instead. And that brings us into the WordPress widgets menu. In this example, let's add our Facebook feed carousel into the sidebar. And to do this, you have the same two options as before. You can either copy and paste the shortcode into a shortcode block, or you can use our dedicated Facebook feed block for block editor. And once again, in just a matter of seconds, but this time into the sidebar, it's embedded our Facebook feed. We can now publish this and check out what it looks like on the front end of our website. And back on our live web page, right in the middle, you can see that first Facebook feed carousel we created earlier. But on the right hand side, you'll now notice that we have a new Facebook carousel inside the sidebar as well. So we successfully added a Facebook carousel feed both into the web page and the sidebar as a widget as well. If you have any questions about what we covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you need any technical support, please get in touch with our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.